But who with thee? <laughs> My burden bear, none but thee, none but thee. God is our burden bearer. And you know, and we um, just a closer walk, you know, just a closer walk with thee. Um, grant thee, Jesus. That is should be each and every Christian plea. Um, daily walking close to thee. Just and let it be. Yeah. That song is perfect for what we're going through right now because if you yeah. walk close with God, nothing can happen. That's why I'm, that's what the comfort part about the song is is walking close to God. If you start walking close to God, you you can't worry about nothing because you're you're in God again. Yes, and 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 that is um, and that is what the enemy knows, and that is why he wants to distract us to to walk outside of God. Because once we are walking with God, um, there's a peace, there's a calm, and there's a and there's a you know that all things might be breaking around you, but um, but you are, are, are still because you know that God. I I don't know. We we face one of the most um, dangerous hurricanes. I think two years ago, Hurricane Maria, and we, it, it 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 had devastating effects on Dominica, and um, a lot of persons lost their roof, and um, lives lives were lost, and then set back economic set back and everything and, and that, that at the time that you you had to trust God to take care of you and you know and, and I remember that night and my house and that wind maybe 200 something miles per hour or 230 or 50 miles an hour wow. and I'm um, a category 5 hurricane and and I, I'm just here in the night and listening to roofs flying all over about me governor governors and everything flying all over and I'm saying, um, I'm saying, you know, I have a young son, I have a wife, and there was there was some people with us in the house, and and I'm saying I have, I have a roof over my head, and I, I was at a, at a certain point in the night, I, I was wondering if my my roof was still there because the kind of wind you was hearing outside there, and when morning break, and I, I found out that not one single um, thing that was lifted on my roof, you know, I, I gave God praise for um, His protection and His guidance. And throughout all that, you know, and, and God is able to still protect His own in the time of crisis and difficulty. Oh, absolutely, He can. I'm a testament to that one already. Because I've been through some hard times myself, and let me just say I've been through a lot of hard times. Let me let me do something real quick for a second. Sorry about this. My Facebook Live fans say that they can't hear something, and I know why. I got put the wire onto the speaker part. But, yeah, I am a testament to that myself because I've been through a lot of hard things that God has brought me through and things that that in people in general would, would say, you know, like, how in the world did this happen? And let me give you a little brief testimony. Hold on just for one second here. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, good. But yeah. I, 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 at one point in time, from the age of 12, was locked up for a, a pretty long time for something that was just more or less the, the enemy tried to, what's the word I'm looking for? The enemy tried to get me one before I became Christian. And God knew the calling that he had on my life for me. So God was not going to let that happen. And I've and I've I've went through so much in my time of being locked up that finally, when I realized what was going on, I take comfort in it because I know that God had His way no matter what. Um. Oh, yeah. And God, 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 God knows. I mean, I think you see, and we we as some as some Christians, we need to understand that um, it it says, "Web um, no weapon formed against you shall prosper." It it never said that weapons would not be formed. It said that weapons would be formed. I mean, let me just correct myself there. It said that weapons will be formed. There are a lot of weapons right. that will be formed, but it said it, it, it goes further down to say it will not prosper. It will not work. And and as a as a as a as a child of God, and as you go throughout your Christian journey, there are going to be um, weapons that will be formed. But they will not, what you have to take comfort in, that they will not prosper, that they will not work. It, it, it's like, um, 
it's like um, Haman setting a, 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 a gallows for Mordecai, <laughs> a child of God. The Absolutely. weapon was for, the weapon was formed, but it, it, it didn't prosper. Right. And God has God has a way of, of, of protecting His children, and and some of the some of the the, 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 the the discouragement can come when we see weapons being formed, and um, you know you see your friends you know your friends can leave you know persons that you trust in can go, but what we have to understand is um, weapons 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 will be formed weapons will be formed. Things will be formed to destroy your life. Things will even be formed to get you out of track. But the Bible says that they will not work. And it says, he is able for all that you go through. And all the, 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 the trials that you go through, he is able to make a way of escape for you. So he, he, he has an escape route for you. Yes, you might be in the difficulty, but God has already made an escape route for you to come out of what you are in right now. That's why I tell people the best thing to do is put on the full armor of God so you can withstand all the weapons and the fiery darts the enemy throws at you. Yeah, you see, um, Paul, Paul made a mention of the helmet. He made a mention of the breastplate. But I, I even think right now somebody was giving me a joke considering that you, you even have to have the socks. You even have to have the shoes. <laughs> you just have to have all, all protective gear because the, the enemy looks for every weak point that he can get. And any oh, weak point, any weak point that he can get, he will find it because that that is his job. He works on your weaknesses. He works on your weak points, and he will look through every gap, every little thing. He takes notice of what you are doing, and we we just have to make sure that we put on, as you said, put on the whole armor of God that we might be able to withstand. I mean, we go through problems here and there. Nobody's immune to problems. Um, yeah. And this is a little funny too. I just. God just told wow, I just thought about this. The devil, though, is clever like a mouse because you ever seen a mouse in a house and you put the cheese on the trap? And that trap would still be set, but that cheese would be gone. <laughs> and just that, uh, <laughs> he's a cunning, you know. And the Bible says that he's, he's, he's a deceiver from the beginning and we have to take note and we have to, um, we have to trust God because um, we cannot fight him on our own. He's right. not scared of he. He's not scared of you. Um, he's scared of who that is inside of you. Right. And and mostly he's not scared of you physically, but he's scared of who inside of you. That is why the Bible says, "Greater is he that is within me than, than he that is within the world." So when he sees you, when he sees the child of God, he sees the child of God protected like Job. But if that is not on you, he knows. And that is why we have to make sure that we are guarded and protected from that. And like you said, it's not it's not us that he's afraid of. It's the God that is in our heart. It's that yes, little yes. protection in the God that's in our heart that says, that he says, oh, I'm afraid of that. Because the Bible says, when, uh, when uh, Peter's talking to Jesus, he goes, he goes, wherever you go, I will go with you even unto death. The first thing God, Jesus said to him was, he says, Peter, get thou behind me. You know, he said, Satan, get down behind me. So what that means is, and every time the devil goes to do something, Satan, get down behind me. Just like Jesus. Imitate Jesus entirely to the T. Get down behind me in Jesus' name. Because once you, if you just say get down behind me, you know, he can laugh at you. But if you say in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, that's when the power starts coming out of you. And that's when he says, oh God, there's that thing in him I don't like. I'm out of here. And, and, says, and you, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It says, at the name of Jesus, at the name, now, it doesn't say at the presence, at, just at the name of Jesus, the enemy has to flee. Yeah, just, just at the mention of his name. And, and you notice that he, he didn't rebuke Peter, he rebuked the devil. Mm-hmm. And, and one of those things that I, I have learned over the time, sometimes you don't have to rebuke people, you have to rebuke the, what, is in, what is within them. Because it is not, it is not actually. It actually, it was not Peter that was speaking, but it was the enemy that was speaking for Peter. Right. And Jesus rebuked, because even when Pete, Jesus was going to die on the cross, Peter tell him, "Well, why you want? Why? 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 Why are you going to die?" And that is where Jesus rebuked him. So and and, and because Jesus knew that he had to go to the cross, but the person that was speaking for Peter 
was not actually Peter, it was the enemy, just, just like Job. And um, when his wife spoke, it wasn't her that was speaking, it was the enemy that was speaking. Curse God and right. die. So Job say you speak like a foolish woman, but he was the enemy he works in he works in mysterious ways also and and we, we always have to be on guard. Be sober, be vigilant and be watchful. And um we always have to be watchful, we always have to be vigilant. Like I said, watchful and pray because he is he, he's got so many tricks up his sleeve that he can fool you. And, and, and like I told my wife the other day, he twists the scripture so subtly that you think, it's, you think it's absolute truth and it's not. And you start believing it. Yep, and he, 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 can, he, he can quote a scripture and just leave out one word like he did for Jesus and told Jesus in one of the temptations in the wilderness. He quoted a scripture, but he, he left a word out. And, right. and the, the, Bible, the, Bible, the Bible says he, he, he's a, he knows the scriptures and he knows what to twist. And, and um, so we, we, we have to be careful. And that is why we have to study the word for ourselves. We have to know God for ourselves. And that is why when Jesus was faced with his trials and his, tem- his um, temptations, he, he quoted the scripture. It is written. It is written. And that, and that, and that is why we, we, we have to know the scriptures for ourselves. So that as we know the scriptures for ourselves, we can we can minister, we can speak words, we can just deaf and life in the power of the tongue. Absolutely. And that's why yeah. we gotta speak encouraging words to people. That's one of the reasons why I created my podcast, if you don't mind me saying for just a brief. I started yeah. this because when I when I started becoming a Christian and all of the music that I used to listen to, my rock and roll albums, and all of these artists that I thought were great people, that when I, when I became Christian, found out they were so evil and so sinister. And I thought, well, it was just a love song, I thought. And then kind of find out I had all these other things that were mentioned and that I would never even know until I became Christian. I said to myself, there's so much garbage on the radio these days because you got the rap artists now talking about how many ladies they had in bed last night and whatever. I'm like, there's so much garbage on the radio. I got to create something that's positive, something that somebody can come and listen to. It won't have to feel judged by what they did or, or have done or, or are doing and things like that. And just encouraging stuff that comes out of here. So that way it's not all about who had this lady in bed last night or whatnot? So I don't care. It's just I needed, I wanted something more encouraging, so I created this, and so far it's been working. But it's my way, like you're trying to do today, is it's my way of encouraging people every week. Yes, and I believe, and I believe what you are doing um, is more important than any other thing that somebody can be doing. What when we do things for God, the Bible says. No man have left more than father for my cause and have not received the hundredfold in this life and in the life to come. The most important thing that we can do is to share the word of God. And I think what you are presently doing, you know, your reward will be in heaven. And I, yeah. my, admon- my, admonish- my admonition to you is to stay focused, keep on, keep on doing, doing what you're doing. Like Ninemiah says that um, I, I am doing a great work and I can't come down. <laughs> So my admonition to you is, you know, keep on, keep on doing the work. We, do not get weary in well, in well doing. And then you, you, because as you said, there's so much negativity out there and there's so much oh, yeah. uh, um, persons going the other way. And, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm seeing that even when um, that coronavirus will be, will be eased up, I'm seeing that the people will go back to even worse than how they was before. Um, because persons will go back to partying, they will go back to all oh, that, 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 a lot of um, um, lifestyle that will be put into Christ. People are just waiting, I think, to go out. And even in the, right now in Dominica where I live, you know, persons are, you know, they, they can't wait for them to go back and, and party. And, and, and I, I think we, as you said, what you are doing, anything that we do for the kingdom, anything that we do for, um, for God's purpose, we'll cannot lose it we cannot lose because when the bible jesus when jesus comes back again he's not going to ask you what you did on your job he's not going to ask you how much money that you acquire he's going to ask you what you did for me the only thing the only thing that will stand is what you did for him and that is why it is important to 
and and people like you and uh, I, I I give God praise, you know, for for people like you who keep on 